moving on with the 370Z build. So we have done our headlights. If you haven't checked out me doing up and customizing the headlights, go over to the channel and watch that video because I fully customize it. I'll tell you what I do. We are going to install them onto the car, see if they work and also putting on the new front bumper. We're putting tires on the wheels and yeah, just putting all the pieces together, putting all the puzzle pieces together onto the car. We'll be in the final stages of the entire build. Put these lights on and wire everything up to the car and see if they work. I just need to wire up the module, the Bluetooth module to the battery and to earthing points and stuff like that. So wish me luck, wish me luck. Hopefully they work because if they don't, I'm just gonna have to run stock headlights or run them, but have no features running on them. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna disconnect the battery and wire everything up. cables here will run into each headlight and these ones here will be straight into the battery let's see where we can mount this little thing here thinking in the middle somewhere just so these can reach the headlights Remove the screws of the radiator overflow tank and I've, there's a little hole between this support here. Piece of plastic that runs in the middle here just so this is structurally good. These wires will run to the headlights and these ones will go straight to the battery. Once I bolt this back into place it will hold this into here. I didn't read the wiring diagram. What I did was put all these three together. Don't do that. I need to wire this up straight to the battery. These two go on either side. The LED strip, it wasn't turning on. They do work. So it's the wiring from the LED strip into the park light wires. I checked the park lights, they do work. So I know it's the connections. I'll probably open the insulation up on the park lights and the indicator those wires and then just do like a twist and tape job that should get it working <laughs> i'm so stressed this car is built on stress and anxiety this whole build series they look beautiful though they look beautiful on the car <laughs> strip works for the park lights. The reason why it wasn't working before is quick spices. It wasn't going straight through the insulation. So there was literally no connection, no contact at all. These are done. These here do have the switchback indicators, the hexagon halos. Get this one sorted first. So I know what to do for the next one. This is progress. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, I work. Oh, yes. I can run the freaking headlights. Look, check this out. Oh, oh yes, let's go. Still have to do the other side. I don't think I'll plug these in. These are for the indicators. Probably just leave them out because I don't want all three indicators to work because it's a bit loud and it's like I'm screaming that like I'm indicating like I'm turning right! I'm turning right! Ah, I'm turning right! So as you can see, they both work. There is some things I need to do and stuff like that and like fine tune them. This indicator doesn't switch back and forth from your daytime running light, which is pure white and the indicators, but this one does. Really don't know what the problem is. But everything else is good. Everything else is chilled. Headlights are done. I do have to take these off again. I need to get these restored and stuff like that from Impulse Detailing Solutions, as always. Show you the whole car, like how it is right now. Let me tell you, it blows my mind. I don't even know how I did this. I don't even know why I did this. I don't even know. Hey, here we are. Video magic, YouTube magic. Whatever it is, it's night time. Yeah, everything is in, everything's working. We're finally doing the wheels tomorrow. That gets me excited. All right, um, I'm just gonna put the new front bumper on, take the carbon fins out. You do have to wrap it, so I might as well just take off um, all the accessories now. Little sneak peek of what the whole car will be. If you didn't know, now you know, my new front bumper is a Weber Sports, genuine Weber Sports front bumper. This front bumper that I wanted when I first got the car, the dream bumper for this, for this build, for this car. Ever since day one I got this car, I wanted this front bumper. This came up on Facebook Marketplace. This costed me 1200 bucks, plus carbon fiber fins and the daytime running lights. At the back here, it has the Weber Sports logo stamped in. The carbon fins and the daytime running lights are from RHD Japan. I did want to make a front splitter for this for the show, but I don't think I have enough time and that's going to come a bit later. The front splitter and do the side splitters as well at the same time. Hey. 